Hello people, welcome back. This question is for one mark and is from gate exam of 2015. The statement is actually very lengthy, so I'll not be reading the entire statement. Instead, you just pause the video now and have a look. I'll display its image. So they are saying in stop and wait protocol, if we want efficiency to be exactly 25%, what must be the propagation delay? Okay, this data is also given in the question. Now we want the efficiency to be 25%. That means 1 upon 1 plus 2a must be 25%. Okay, so formula for efficiency in stop and wait is 1 upon 1 plus 2a. This must be 0 0.25. A is TP divided by TT. That means propagation delay divided by the transmission delay. So this will be 1 upon 1 plus 2 into TP. So TP is not given in the question. Let us assume that propagation delay is X. So it will be X upon TT. So TT is also not directly given. But formula for TT is L upon bandwidth. That is length of packet divided by the bandwidth. Packet size is given as 1000 bytes. Divided by bandwidth which is given as 10 raised to the power 6 bits per second. So it is 10 raised to the power 6 bits per second. Now you can see the units are not equal. We need to convert this bytes into bits. So let us multiply it by 8. So it is multiplied by 8 and the unit will be bits okay now you can see this will be 8 divided by 10 raised to the power 3 seconds which is equal to 8 milliseconds so transmission delay is 8 milliseconds that means tp by tt will be x upon 8 milliseconds and this must be equal to 0 0.25. Okay. See, how did I get this formula 1 upon 1 plus 2a? 1 is the center window size in case of stop and wait. That means we are sending only one packet. But whereas we can send a total of 1 plus 2a packets in TT plus 2TP time. Okay. We are sending only one. So whatever we are actually sending by what we can send in best case. So you just solve this equation. You will get... So upon solving it, you can see the value of x will be 12 milliseconds. See, the unit here was milliseconds. That means for this entire solution, the unit will remain milliseconds only. So x comes out to be 12 milliseconds. That means propagation delay must be exactly 12 milliseconds if we want efficiency of 25%. Okay. 